They are normally used in pairs. You can rarely get away with using just one. And the first thing you have to do is to determine where the center of that shaft is with, re with regard to the surface plate. So I set approximate center and I scribe and I scribe and I scribe as I rotate the, the shaft and you'll be able to see that I have not quite hit the center. I've surrounded it but I haven't quite come to it. So the thing that I have to do is use my fine adjustment and change the height of the scriber a little bit and lock it in position. It's a matter of doing it by trial and error. And as you can see now I have the the center very close to the true center of the rod. I've blackened the side where I want to put the the key seat and by taking my measurement from the dial and I reset my zero because I'm not measuring from the surface plate at this point I'm measuring my true height of the center of the workpiece if I turn to the side and I scribe a line on the side now I have defined on the side of the workpiece where the center line occurs I can reset by a distance of let's say thirty thousandths in this case this means that I have raised the scriber by thirty thousandths so I know that I'm scribing a line now thirty thousandths above the other if I reset below, now I've set my scriber height 30 thousandths below the center line. And when I scribe, I have defined a keyway in which I can show the center. I can show each edge. And when I cut this, I can cut a keyway which is exactly 60 thousandths of an inch wide. Of course, it could be set for one eighth of an inch or three sixteenths or whatever key dimension I happen to be using. But this is the way that you can handle uh, cylindrical surfaces and uh, place your dimensions on them just as accurately as you could uh, all of the other layout work that you've done so far.